வணக்கம் கல் தோன்றி மண் தோன்ற காலத்தே முன் தோன்றி மூத்த குடி த அபவ் இஸ் அன் ஓல் தமிழ் சேயிங் இட் லிட்ரலி மீன்ஸ் தட் த தமிழ் லாங்குவேஜ் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் ஹாஸ் பீன் இன் எக்ஸிஸ்டன்ஸ் சின்ஸ் த டேஸ் த ராக்ஸ் அண்ட் சாயில் வர் ஃபார்ம்ட் த சேயிங் பேசிக்லி கிளேம்ஸ் த ஆன்டிக்விட்டி ஆஃப் த தமிழ் லாங்குவேஜ் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் இஸ் த தமிழ் லாங்குவேஜ் அண்ட் சிவிலைசேஷன் ரியலி தட் ஓல்ட் there are quite a number of historians and scholars who have researched and established their claims on this matter both tamilians and non tamilians recently asko parpola claim the indus valley civilization is probably a tamil civilization could the tamilians have formed the first civilization on earth does this claim make any sense is there any evidence to back these claims or are they voices of the tamil chauvinists it is widely accepted that the first human civilization appeared along the banks of tigris and euphrates in present day iraq this civilization is known as the sumerian civilization if tamil language and culture is being claimed to have been around since time immemorial could the sumerian civilization have had any links with tamilians did the sumerian language have any links with the tamil language any cultural resemblance with present day tamils perhaps how about sanskrit which is also being claimed as being an ancient language could sanskrit have had any links with sumeria which is the truth to answer these questions Join us in our journey to Penang, Malaysia. We are to meet Dr. K. Loganathan, PhD. Dr. Loganathan has been researching the link between Sumerian and Tamil for almost half a century. He is probably the best person to answer these questions. Dr. Loganathan's first paper on this subject appeared in the Journal of Tamil Studies in the year 1975. Dr. Loganathan was a lecturer in University Science Malaysia he was lecturing in psychology in the education school and we are very happy today to have dr loganathan uh, to answer these questions for us vanakam doctor vanakam. and a very good day to you yeah vanakam it's a, <laughs> it's a pleasure to to meet you and thank you for agreeing to give this interview uh, before we delve deeper into our subject can you please tell us about yourself your qualification as well as your professional training doctor oh vanakkam dr santi my qualifications my background and so forth i was uh, brought up in singapatani in the state of kedha uh, i was educated in a tamil school actually for the first 6 uh, years then i went to english medium schools then i finally ended up in prank free school where i won Colombo Plant Scholarship to do my first degree in New Zealand, Otago University, uh, where I studied mathematics and philosophy. Then I did my master's in the uh, University of London in cognitive psychology. And later I also did my PhD in discourse analysis, also related to psychology, and ended up as uh, assistant director in the Ministry of Education. And later, a uh, lecturer in the educational psychology university of science malaysia doctor uh, can you please tell us about your experience as a lecturer in uh, university of science malaysia and perhaps uh, any research or uh, studies that you may have done so far i was uh, in fact borrowed by university of science malaysia from ministry of education uh, in the field of curriculum development and and therefore i uh, ended up uh, designing many instructional programs uh, as part of the project inspire uh, where i also uh, took the opportunity to specialize in cognitive psychology and uh, i did a lot of research uh, in how to improve uh, the teaching uh, technology uh, especially for the rural primary schools and in that course i also developed this technique of discourse analysis Uh, very closely related to cognitive psychology and uh, i also also developed um algemic psychology as an outcome of uh, various demands made in curriculum des- designing 
in cognitive psychology. And uh, since then, I've been uh, continuing these things. But uh, my interest in Sumerian studies is a little bit different. Maybe you want to ask me about it. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Loga, um, what made you research on uh, Sumerian language and its link to, to Tamil? Before I came to University of Science Malaysia, I was sent by the Ministry of Education to do my master's in University of London. Uh, at that time, my primary interest was in uh, linguistics. Uh, and I was developing an alternative model to the mathematical logic of Bertrand Russell, which I call predicate. Uh, pro, uh, he developed a predicate calculus. Mm -hmm. I developed process calculus based upon Tolhapium, an uh, ancient treatise in uh, Tamil language, Tamil grammar. And uh, I made a lot of progress, and I also did a lot of uh, research in that direction. So at, the, at that point, I became very interested also in ancient languages. Mm -hmm. uh, this is how I came to learn about Sumerian language. One day, I accidentally uh, moved into the shelves where Sumerian books were uh, uh, you know, arranged in the School of African Oriental Studies. Then I realized that language is archaic Tamil, and that's how my interest started there. And I continued uh, that, that line of studies uh, whenever I was quite free uh, and so forth. Uh, we understand that you have done a lot of research in, in a wide range of uh, subjects and areas. Uh, for example, uh, Sumerian language, uh, Tamil, Saivism, psychology, uh, hermeneutic uh, science and, and many others. Um, so in our interview today, Doctor, we'll focus mainly uh, on the link between the Sumerian language and the Tamil language. Uh, can you please tell us, Doctor, what did you actually discover in your research in relation to Sumeria and Tamil? My primary claim is that, you know, there are two things. One is Sumerian is archaic Tamil. So it is an, the ancestor of the present in Tamil. Another view is that Sanskrit language, the language of Rig Veda and so forth, is a transformation of uh, Sumerian. And therefore, basically, since Sumerian is archaic Tamil, it's a Dravidian language, and since uh, Sanskrit is a transformation of uh, Sumerian, it is also a Dravidian language. And therefore, I feel that uh, almost all Indian languages are Dravidian. And there are no such a group of languages, family of languages called Indo-Aryan. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is my primary contribution uh, to, towards the Indian culture, Indian languages, and so forth. And maybe a little bit controversial, because uh, both are not well accepted by scholars yet. But uh, I am very sure that this is the truth.